intimidated by our horns. so we would know which ones not to collect eggs from yeah, because we've had some broody hens for a she's while. Her, she's probably the one who hatched out that mystery chicken. Okay, so tell everyone what, what we're talking about here. Well... What's the mystery chicken? I came out here, I was going to look for Bucky the cow over there so we could play with him over there and I heard peeping I thought it was just a baby bird or a mouse or something. And I looked over there and there's something white in the grass. And then I went down there and it was a baby chick. It looked like the meat chickens, but it's not a meat chicken. Because it's way up here in this pasture, away from all the meat chickens. And it's smaller than all the meat chickens. Mm -hmm. But to our knowledge, none of these have hatched out yet. Um, We've been waiting on them. They're getting close, but we just... smell something stinky. Yeah, there's probably some nasty ones. So I was a wuss yesterday and came out to get the eggs. And I don't normally get the eggs, but I do not like to put my hand under a broody hen. That's not enjoyable to me. So I didn't do it, and I left even in the boxes that we were supposed to be able to collect from um there were some hens sitting on those and i just refused to get them up so we're just gonna throw these back to the to the chickens because it's been really really hot for the last two days anyways so they'll enjoy some eggs oh, well those went out some good ones. Is that fun? yeah there are two more left so who did we just sell Clementine and her calf. Are you sad about that? Mm, kind of. Clementine was a good cow. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there, she's going to a good home, um, and not too far down the road. So. Can you spot him right away? Yeah. Well, I see him. Gotcha. Looks like all the rest. Here's the chicken that fell from the sky. <laughs> he is adorable. He is adorable. Mystery chicken. 
the unsolved mystery. Did this chicken fall from the sky? <laughs> but he gets along with everybody else? Yeah. Like nobody's pecking him or anything? Mm -mm. Okay, we're good. No, none of his tiny, tiny feathers are missing. Oh, they're trying to get out. They're low. Yes. How are the, um, the other mystery birds <laughs> that we don't know why they're here? They're all still alive. Okay. Cool. Mr. Chicken. <laughs> All right, put him down and see how he is compared to them, size-wise. If you guys knew him. Hmm. He's so cute. He's so little. Okay. Absolutely adorable. He is cute. <laughs> what if you come out here one day and you cannot tell which one he is? Oh, no. <laughs> Well, that'd be tragic. Oh, yes. <laughs> so we just had a nice couple from just up the road come and get one of our cows and her calves, uh, Clementine. If you've ever heard us talk about Clementine before, she's the one that has the longest horns of any of our cows. And uh, they're just getting into cows. They have horses. They're just getting into cows and um, do what? Two horses. Two horses. And so. She'll be a good one because she's a very nice, gentle cow, even though she has horns, but she's a good cow. So what did you say to me when you bought this dress? Um, <laughs> she bought this dress mm -hmm. with her own money, technically. It was a gift card she was given for her birthday. And she bought this dress and she said one thing to me about it. What was it? I can't remember. Yes, you can, <laughs> you stinker. Yes, you can. What did you say? I will never wear this dress for farm work. What? Say that one more time. I will never wear this dress for farm work. And what are we doing right now? Selling cows and holding chickens and... Collecting eggs. <laughs> Wrestling a dog. <laughs> so, obviously... How long have you had this dress? Two weeks? Doesn't last long. Not when you have farming princesses. Right? <laughs> Do it again. That's so cool, Sam. That's so sweet. What is that, Nathan? Oh. I'm holding the mama. Okay, so we have a chicken update. <laughs> Yesterday we showed you the hens setting on the nests in the nesting boxes. And today, what happens in? Um, one of them died in here. There so was one that fully hatched and I guess he got pecked out or something or he, he couldn't, couldn't breathe, breathe because mm. this one was <laughs> sitting on her. Sitting on her baby. And now there are some pecking. Here, let me show you one. Very so why did you decide to move her? Because all the rest of the hens were trying to peck out the eggs. Um, get in there with her. Here's one that's been pecking. Baby. Her, can you get her out until I get all the eggs in there? And I was watching the hens that were trying to get in there and they picked this egg. So I'm gonna put it in there and see if it hatches, but I don't think it will. She said it might have a dead baby. Oh, did you hear that? I heard a cheat. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. This one's peeping. Here it is. that egg move. <laughs> the chicken side of it moved. And I want it I want to um, bring her other chick up here. That was the mystery chicken. Oh. How do you know? Because 
she's the only one that has chicks that are ready. I hear oh one. Oh gosh, mm -hmm. I hear one. Shh. She's the only one with um, eggs that are ready to hatch. So normally we are very like late intervention people and um, you know, I, we usually let nature take its course. Uh, so if it were up to me, I probably wouldn't have moved the chicken and the eggs, but um, sometimes our kids know better than we do. And, um, and it's all just an experiment anyway. So at least she's taking the um, responsibility for this hen and the eggs and we'll just have to see what happens and everything is a lesson around here so we'll see we'll give you an update and let you know how it's going all right see you next time bye